Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. The border crossing to make it into Rocky Point is closed. Immigration officials shuffling agents from Lukeville and sending them out into the field. Good evening. Welcome to 12 News at 6, everyone. I'm Mark Curtis. And I'm Kariba Devine. 12 News journalist Adriana Loya is at the border tonight as agents deal with a surge in migrants. Women, children, and elderly people are among the large group of people that are gathering here camping along the U.S.-Mexico border. Some of them tell me they've been waiting here for days as immigration officials are stretched thin trying to keep up with the surge. How had these two days been for you? Demasiado frío. Maria de Los Angeles and her 10-year-old daughter are cold and hungry. Two days ago, they crossed the U.S.-Mexico border illegally, hoping to seek asylum. But they are waiting, as they aren't the only ones. In the last three weeks, more than 47,000 people have been apprehended in the Tucson sector, according to Tucson's chief patrol agent, John Maudlin. That number increasing since July, making this area the busiest along the southern border. This has been a serious challenge for us. Agents here working around the clock. We're moving resources from all over sector, all over the southwest border. Which led Customs and Border Protection to suspend operations in the Lookville Port of Entry Monday, sending an undisclosed number of agents to the field to help Border Patrol agents process and transport migrants. It's been a tremendous amount of help. We've been able to move more people than we have in the past. The remote terrain making it difficult for agents to keep up with the surge, but it's something criminal organizations are capitalizing on. Given that this is a very remote area, large groups of migrants, as you guys can see way over there, are making their way through gaps here in the fence. Now, in this area, as you can see, it is parts of these barriers that actually agents tell us some of the cartels are cutting through and funneling people through. We're just trying to keep them wet. Humane Borders, a humanitarian group, leaving water and food, telling us the Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument invited them to come out. As they work, conversing with migrants who tell them some have been ill. Our understanding was that a child was born uh, out on the, on the wall probably down at uh, station one and um, and that's painful painful to hear. CBP would only confirm that a pregnant woman was life flighted to Phoenix sister he has been sick Mohammed al Taliallo telling us his sister among the ill as people wait food and water scars some of them asking us for those items <laughs> Scenes like these playing out often, Mexicans capitalizing on the need, working as a delivery service to these crowds. This family ordering baby wipes. Immigration officials tell me they're trying to do their best to try to clear out this crowd and process them. In the meantime, migrants tell me they're trying to do everything they can to survive, using these at night to stay warm. Near the U.S.-Mexico border, Adriana Loya, 12 News.